Some places just aren't meant to be traveled without a bit of backup and friends along the way, and some places we aren't even allowed in. While one could get in by such areas if the right precautionary measures are taken, it's best to steer clear of these places and avoid any potential dangers that might be waiting for the unsuspecting traveler. Today, we will tell you about top 10 places you shouldn't travel alone to. Ten, Cuidad Juarez, Mexico. Millions of tourists visit Mexico every year, but the violent organized crime makes it a more risky destination for travelers. Mexico's issues with drug trafficking are well known, and Cuidad Juarez is one of the nation's most violent cities. Police corruption is a significant problem, as officers are often employed or paid off by drug cartels, which means that many crimes go unpunished. One of the best things to do in El Paso is actually to leave El Paso and hop to the border into Juarez. Ciudad Juarez is one of the biggest cities in Mexico, is a really cool place with a culture that is very distinct to the rest of Mexico. We've never been anywhere else in Mexico that is very similar to Juarez, and we really enjoyed it there. The only problem is that Juarez may or may not have the reputation as one of the most dangerous cities in Mexico, and generally speaking, it's earned it. If you plan on stopping in Juarez during your trip, read the next section about safety in Juarez very carefully. If not, skip ahead to the best things to do in El Paso. Buckle up, because this post is a long one. 9. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Many cities in Brazil have high crime rates, and none are more dangerous than Rio de Janeiro, yet Rio remains the most popular tourist destination in Brazil, attracting upwards of 1.2 million travelers every year. The city is actually safer than it was a decade ago, but street crime is still common in many areas, especially at night. Political tension and the accompanying demonstrations are a concern, so check your company's travel alerts before you book a trip. It's possible to enjoy the lush rainforests and white sandy beaches, but use common sense and take the reasonable precautions. When it comes to safety in Rio de Janeiro, things are a bit mixed. The good news is that rates of violent crime are dropping in Brazil, but locals say that in a city like Rio, you'll find that some neighborhoods are safer than others, especially depending on the time of day. 8. Caracas, Venezuela Caracas is one of the most easily dangerous cities in the world to visit. The capital city of Venezuela continues to face an epidemic of violence, in part because of poor political and economic environment for residents. Street crimes such as muggings and theft are common, as are murder by firearm and kidnappings, making this an undesirable destination for most tourists. Backpackers continue to visit the nation because of the beautiful landscapes and cheap costs to visit. Many other cities in Venezuela also have incredibly high crime rates, but the capital has the second highest murder rate in the world, giving it the top spot on the list of most dangerous places to travel. So, if you are planning a trip to Venezuela, we suggest checking out more tourist-friendly areas like Margarita Island. 7. Bora Bora If you're looking for a taste of paradise and a heaping of pristine beaches, Bora Bora is the place to be, but it is definitely a more honeymoon-focused destination. Mar Pages, the co-founder of Solo Female Travelers Tour, went to Bora Bora solo and experienced the constant reminder that she was in fact alone. Pages said that the staff at the luxury resort where she was staying insisted on filling two glasses with water, bringing two bread pieces, and giving me two menu cards every time I sat down for a meal. Despite the many times I repeated I was by myself. While it was empowering and exciting to travel solo, having someone with you on this island vacation might benefit you in the end. You can absolutely visit Bora Bora solo, says Pages, but it pays to have someone to share the coast of an overwater villa with who will drink the water and eat the bread slices. 6. Guatemala City, Guatemala Although Guatemala, a Central American nation in the Caribbean, holds many tourist attractions, its nation is plagued with drug-based violence as well as human and arms trafficking. It has a high murder and low solve rate, and other common crimes include street robberies, bus holdups, and carjackings. If you're planning on visiting Guatemala, it's advisable to remain in safer regions and avoid Guatemala City. 5. Baghdad, Iraq Bombings, gunfire, and other violent events are common in Iraq. This country has been one of the do-not-travel lists for Americans for many years, and Baghdad remains a dangerous place. This is another war-torn country that has been decimated by insurgent and United States military attacks, and is not likely to be safe anytime soon. Since the violence in Baghdad usually consists of unpredictable outbreaks of terrorism, it's not a place that people should visit without a good reason. 
4. San Pedro Sula, Honduras San Pedro Sula is the most dangerous city, not just in Honduras, but in the whole world. If you're visiting Honduras, you'll have to avoid this city completely. Gang wars and fights with the police are common in this city. This city has ranked as one of the world's most violent for several years now. According to many sources, it has the highest homicide rates in the world, 169 per 100,000 people. Arms trafficking is another big problem, and illegal firearms are prevalent throughout the city. Many tourists only face opportunistic crimes, such as mugging and theft. The Maya ruins and Golden Beaches may be a draw, but this is a city that tourists would do well to take serious precautions in. Biodiversity is a huge part of Honduras. There's more nature here than you can shake a stick at. Couple that with 470 miles of mainly Caribbean coastline, a load of beaches and tropical islands as well as Mayan ruins, and you got yourself a dream destination. It might sound like a paradise, but it isn't. Honduras isn't exactly what we'd call safe. The Central American country suffers from what many countries in the region have suffered from or are currently battling with, namely corruption, gangs, and drugs. With those come violence and poverty, so backpacking Honduras isn't just a breeze. In fact, most people in Honduras have family members in a gang. So yeah, we're not going to lie, it's pretty sketchy. However, while it's quite dangerous, the government is promoting tourism in Honduras, and people do go. Some areas are safer than others. For example, the Bay Islands are safer than the mainland. Many people do travel to this particular part of Honduras, even with their families. 3. Kabul, Afghanistan Kabul has been one of the most dangerous cities in the world for many years. It is still a war zone, although US troops prepare to exit the country. Tourist attacks, including many bombings, remain common. Like Baghdad, Kabul is a city where violence can erupt at any time. Afghanistan is the most dangerous country in 2019, according to the Global Peace Index. 2. Cape Town, South Africa Due to the prevalence of poverty and social unrest in this city, it suffers from an extremely high violent crime rate, mostly related to drugs and gangs, with an estimated 100,000 people in over 130 different gangs in 2018. Although many tourists are drawn to South Africa because of its natural beauty and proximity to nature reserves packed with wildlife, Cape Town can be a dangerous place. The safest way to enjoy a visit to the city is to avoid the main dangerous neighborhoods and don't travel alone at night, especially if you're a woman. 1. Acapulco, Mexico Not long ago, this city was considered a safe and luxurious resort area. While tourism to Acapulco is still permitted, gang violence and drug-related murder have made this a dangerous area for travelers and those who live there. And the area has seen a huge decline in tourism since 2014. Recent statistics reveal that this city, called Mexico's murder capital, has one of the highest murder rates, 142 per 100,000 people, making it one of the most dangerous places to travel to. People visiting Acapulco are advised to not leave the safety of the resorts where they are staying, as most crime occurs in surrounding areas. So, whenever you're planning to trip to any of these locations, don't travel alone. Thanks for watching.